Let's do the whiteboard. So let's take a look at a rate constant example. What is the rate constant little k for the first order decomposition? of hydrogen peroxide if it has a half-life, which will abbreviate T one half, of fifteen seconds. Okay, so if you know the First order half life equation T one half equals zero point six nine three over K. Alright, if you happen to have that memorized, great. Uh, if not, you can always derive that uh, from the first order integrated rate law. Ln of uh, A sub T over A sub zero equals minus K T. For the special case of a half life, that would be uh, the ln of one half equals minus kt. If we divide both sides by negative k, we get the ln of one half over minus k. The ln of one half itself is a minus 0 0.693, and therefore uh, t will equal 0 0.693 over k. That would be the first order half-life expression. So in this case we have the half-life. Uh, we know that t1 half is 15 seconds and that equals the 0 0.693 over k, the little k rate constant. Uh, if we manipulate it, let's multiply both sides by little k. Uh, we get uh, now uh, 15 seconds times k equals 0 0.693. We divide both sides by 15 seconds. We find that k is equal to uh, 0.693 over 15, uh, which is whatever it is. So we find in this case that k is equal to the 0 0.693 over 15 seconds, which is a 0 0.0462, and of course the unit is per second. Let's check our sig figs. Well, we know that we have two sig figs from the 15 seconds, uh, so we really only want two sig figs here which means we want 0 0.046 per seconds, and that's our final result.